Hello and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to do ancestors reading. We're just going to see what messages your ancestors have for you today. So we have three groups here. We have group number one, group number two and group number three. So pick which one that you feel most drawn to and we'll get started with group number one. Hello to those of you who picked Fog Veiled for group number one. Um, just sinking into your card right now what I can see here is these mountains the mountains are really standing out to me so I feel like um, for some of you uh, in this reading here today I feel as though there's something around you hello group number one and welcome to your reading so you chose fog veiled so as I tune into your card today what I'm feeling here is the, uh, well, what I'm seeing and what's been pointed out to me from your ancestors the, is in mountains in the distance. And to me, mountains signify strength. It, they signify the road to success. They also signify to me, um, they can be like trials, um, challenges. Um, it also can represent stability and structure. So just feel into what, uh, for, for you watching, which one of those messages really resonate for you. But I'm also seeing this fog around and I'm seeing the light coming through. So one of the messages that I'm getting from your ancestors today is that you are, things are going to become clearer for you very soon. I feel like for a lot of you, there has been something that hasn't been clear in regards to your path, in regards to your vision, in regards to some area of your life. But I do see the mountains in the background and I do see the sun coming through. So that tells me that, uh, and I'm just hearing more information is coming, more information is coming, they're saying. So the light's coming and it's trying to get through, the clarity is trying to come, the vision's coming forwards. However, it's just um, being veiled at the moment not everything's being seen but your ancestors were saying in my ear that um, the information is coming so take that where it resonates for you the clarity is coming um, and you're going to see clearer very soon so let's get your other cards and I, I just feel like getting this feather here I'm being drawn so let's just clear the energy out and just imagine that this is your auric field clearing away all that fog so that we can bring in a clear channel message today and to clear the way for you in your life all right okay Okay, so I pre-picked out these cards from the ancestors face down. And we'll just see which one wants to come out first, which one I'm guided to. Okay, they're guiding me to this one. So we have the coral. Allow flow and synchronicity into your life. And look how beautifully bright this is. And I feel like there's bright new um, creativity coming into your life. And I feel like bright new experiences, bright fresh energy that's coming that's ripe. And Spirit's showing me like... A pomegranate so you could look up what a pomegranate is but I'm seeing that and I'm feeling like the juiciness I'm feeling like the ripeness of life something coming into um, ripeness for you so this could be some area of your life this could be um, in regards to a creative project you know put it where it resonates for you but something is ripening and something is coming forwards although it has been veiled perhaps for some of you maybe your creative process maybe you've had some creative blocks and maybe you have um, been trying to Oh, find a way a path but you haven't been able to see the way I feel like flow and synchronicity is going to take you there Where, whatever has been veiled in your life I feel as though it's there's going to be an opening the opening is coming and flow and synchronicity is going to show you the way so it's really positive and you can see with the yellow and the orange energies these represent the sacral and the solar plexus so the sacral is all of our sexual and creativity creativity and the solar plexus is our divine will it's what takes us forwards and it's um I feel as though this is what um energetically is coming up for you and that your ancestors are helping you with this time and because they're saying to me because um you are working with these chakras right now they're saying to me that the earth is going to be very healing for you um and in particular rocks and you can see in the background i've chosen a lot of um earthy rocks um so maybe sitting near the rocks or just having a rock in your pocket just to help ground you and to give you that stability next message you have is release okay and you can see the same colors coming through on this card so for some of you, you could be in the time of autumn. For some of you, it won't be. But the message here is about releasing. It's around letting go so that you can embrace the new, so that you can allow a fresh energy to come in. You can see the sun shining in, just like here on this card, just at the top here. And you can see those... Um, you can see the orange tones, the yellow tones, and you also can see the red tones. So again, this is the this is the very earthly realm. This is the lower chakras, and this is where the ancestors are helping you to release what um, whatever could be in your way that is um, 
perhaps blocking you, blocking your project, blocking your creativity, blocking you seeing what's next. Or perhaps for some of you, I'm getting that things have been blocked for you previously. And the reason is, is because there was some releasing that needed to happen in order for you to move into this fresh energy. Yeah, because I'm being shown that for some of you, being, there was like a whole, like they're showing me as if you're carrying a, a big stack of rocks and they wanted to help you release those rocks so that you're, when you move into this fresh energy that things are going to flow really really easy for you without many hiccups okay because they're saying they don't want in this new um a new energy of yours whether this be a new job a new um a new project a new area of life a new relationship whatever it is they don't want you to feel weighed down by that um they want you to feel free they want you to feel um open to the to the experiences that are coming for you so yeah, for so for some of you, um, this is why you're feeling that fog is because it could be because of the need to release, but also they could, well, it goes both ways, as I was saying. So for some of you, things have been fogged in order for you to release sometimes. For others of you, I feel like perhaps you're just feeling that fogginess, that, um, that not feeling clear because there's some things to let go of, all right? Things, people, places, thoughts, beliefs. Next we have is the white spring release. I let go with peace, another card of releasing. So, yeah, and as I said, I picked these, these all came out the other way. So face down, so I didn't get to see these. And you can see the synchronicity that is happening within this reading. So we have the white spring. And this is really interesting. The white to me represents the purity, the innocence. And again, I was talking about a fresh, there's something fresh and new that's coming in for you, a fresh and new energy that's coming in for you. Perhaps for some of you that there's been some difficult times, some hardships or some, um, difficulties within your family within your lineage okay because we are connecting with your ancestors today and you are cleansing and clearing that um ancestral um patterns in order and and you are moving into that new energy and so there'll be that innocence that purity coming back to a place of wholeness and a space within you that is clear and ready to progress without the weight of what has been uh, already holding you back in some capacity previously so for some of you might have been already doing a lot of this releasing some of you have a lot of releasing or a little bit releasing to go or may have some releasing coming up please just take what resonates within the reading for you I'm also hearing there's a message here for someone that there's more fun coming your way as well. I feel like there could be opportunities for you if you like dancing to get back into dance or anything to do with the inner child, joy, play, um, music. They're just bringing me all these kind of joy feelings or just um, whatever makes you happy. Focus on that as well, not to get caught up in the heavy emotions, if that makes any sense. And when I like feel into your energy, Pearl Mun, I don't feel heavy. It, it almost just feels like this. there's some aspect to your life emotionally, mentally, or physically, that is being released, that's being let go of, that's that's clearing out so that you can clearly see the way forwards, okay? And we have translucence, love the darkness. So with this card coming out, for some of you, um, you've been in a place of darkness. You've been feeling very, and I'm hearing the word trapped even, and I'm sorry if that's how you've been feeling. That's not a nice feeling. But this can talk about being this, this being the shadow as well. It doesn't mean that all of you are feeling trapped or that all of you are in darkness, but there's some level of that veil that's been in the way here that you cannot see because when it's dark, you cannot see. But that light is coming through. All right, we have magnetism, attraction. This is really beautiful. So what this is telling me is that you are in a space or you're going to be in a space very soon where you're going to be magnetizing new opportunities, new energy, as I was saying earlier, into your life. And I feel like your energy is becoming very magnetic because you are or you have released a lot and let go of a lot in your life. So each and every one of you watching will be at a different stage within this process of releasing and letting go. And for some of you, this could be, it could be a lot. For some of you, it could be something small, okay? But nevertheless, it's something that's kept you veiled, all right? It's something that you haven't been able to see clearly or, or um, be able to create or have that flow. But the beautiful news is that you are becoming very magnetic and that there's a lot of synchronicity and flow that is coming into your life. I'm hearing um, state of transition, they're saying, your ancestors are saying, and they're helping you with this state of transition, wherever that may be in your life. Someone, I'm also getting, I'm seeing like um, movement for some of you, 
Um, that won't be everyone. It's just what they're showing me in my mind's eye. Some of you are going to be packing your bags and moving. Could be travel. Um, also, I'm getting that some of you, this could be in regards to work, um, a promotion, or there's going to be some sort of communication coming in regarding a promotion or leveling up in some way in your career. Okay. And then I feel like, and this is very interesting because I feel as though for those of you um, with the information coming in regards to a, a position or a job, I feel like this is going, there's like a lot of joy. Like I'm feeling a lot of joy and I'm seeing you just seeing really clearly then and, and feeling like a sense of confidence as well and in feeling valued because I feel as though uh, whoever's resonating with this, I feel as though you felt like you just weren't being valued and you're starting to feel like you weren't good enough. But spirits say, um, your ancestors are saying that very soon your efforts are going to pay off. Okay. And for those of you, this is not a job. I feel like there's the, whatever it is that you're releasing and letting go of, it's going to pay off big time. I'm hearing big time. All right. So we have here a nurturing heart mother. I am a protective spirit and reach out to all life with love and compassion. Your ancestors have been watching over you and nurturing you. And for some of you, you may have a mother in spirit or grandmother in spirit that is watching over you and nurturing you and giving you a lot of love and attention. Um, because I feel like, I want to say too, have compassion for yourself, for your journey. And um, because for some of you, this has been very difficult. And for all of you, it, whatever it is that we have to release or let go of is usually not easy, okay, to let go of something, especially having these two uh, release cards here. I do feel like it's something that was quite hard to let go of or will be hard to let go of. However, it's going to make a big shift for you. There's going to be a lot of freedom for you. But also this talks about the inner child as well, all right, and that nurturing. And if you don't have that physical support in your life, then give yourself that support energetically your ancestors are giving you that support they're surrounding you with love and they're also going to be sending you those messages all right sending you those synchronicities to let you know that they're there and if this is if you have a loved one in spirit that watches over and guides you they're going to send you messages they're going to show you that they're around and they could do this with feathers because i just am seeing the feathers here but i'm also seeing that moon and the night sky so in that space of quietness and stillness and reflection i feel like they're going to give you the ideas um the visions the feelings the the assistance in some aspect um, on where to go next and what to do and that support for you all right, we have here resilience. Yes, you need a lot of resilience. And it's interesting this card has come up because I was talking about getting a vision of stones on your back and see how she's got this. I don't even know what's, what's in it, but she's got a lot on her back and she's overburdened from carrying all of this weight. So it's now time, I'm saying, I'm hearing it's now time to take that off um, and, and let it go so that you can walk freely. Because I do feel that as I was saying before, newness wants to come in, but your ancestors are saying, if you're holding on to that relationship, if you're holding on to that job, if you're holding on to something that the past even, if you're holding on to the past even, how can you see anything when you're so burdened by the past or what is no longer assisting you in moving forwards, what's no longer freeing you? And, you know, I'm being reminded of sometimes it's relationships, sometimes it's people in our lives and we hold on to them because we feel like we should or we feel an obligation or we feel guilty or we feel like we feel fear of what's on, our, on the other side. And that could be not just in relationships, but in other aspects of our life. Oftentimes the fear of letting go is because the unknown of what's coming in. So your ancestors are saying it's time to release that now, let go so that you are free. Yeah. You're freeing energy up so that you can magnetize those opportunities towards you and so that you can see clearly the road ahead. You can see those signs, synchronicities. You can feel the flow because you're not, you, you can't feel the flow of energy if you're holding on energetically to all of that. You're just feeling weighed down. You're in the density. But if you take that off, you're free. You can breathe and that allows that newness to come in. And we have here surrender to the wisdom of your body. Listen to your body. Messages about a person or a situation if you feel physically drained or uncomfortable be cautious if you're energized and happy move forwards so with this card here this is a message from your ancestors that they really want you to listen to you listen to your intuition listen to that inner voice listen to your body and how that feels if you are in a situation or relationship that you are not feeling good that you are feeling drained uncomfortable this is a message that it's not for you and it's saying if you feel energized and happy, this is a sign. So your ancestors are going to help you to know what's right for you and what's not right for you. And for some of you, for those of you who are feeling like the path of the unknown, not being able to see the way clearly, a good indication of where to go will be in how it feels in your body. If it doesn't feel right, it's not. If it does feel right, it's for you. Okay. Okay. 
So I'm just going to see what other messages your ancestors have for you. And in particular, I want to look at um, what might be coming your way. Right? When this fog is clear, when the veil is lifted, when you're feeling release and relief from the burdens that you've been carrying, what is the new energy that's coming in? Okay, we have the seven of wands. We have the Queen of Wands. I love this. It feels like with these two cards here, the Seven of Wands is like, I feel as though she's very defensive. I feel as though she's protecting herself. And that's what we can do. We can try and protect our heart so that we don't get hurt. Um, we can sometimes hold on to things longer because we're afraid of what's on the other side of it. But here, in this card, the Queen of Wands, she's released herself from that. Can you see the white and the white? I love the synchronicities in your pile. And this is where you release that. You've let go of it all. You can see all this tying her in. But she's released it here. And she's confident. She knows who she is. And she's boldly taking action. She's free to be herself. Right? I'm hearing that they're saying um, an affirmation. I'm free to be me. I am free to be me. Let's just see if there's any other messages that want to come out in regards to what is uh, new energies coming in. So a lot of confidence, personal power, self-worth. Oh, we have the Queen of Swords. Clarity. You're going to see clearly. You're also going to be able to communicate clearly. You're going to be able to make decisions that are right for you. And I feel like, too, you're going to be very discerning around what energy you allow in after this. All right. I just see a whole lot of confidence and wisdom and knowledge. Yeah. For some of you, you might be learning or going on a new learning path. Doing some sort of study, or you might be working in communication or writing. And we have the Four of Cups. You know what I'm getting with this Four of Cups here? It's I feel as though I know it's not the Four of Swords, but I'm kind of getting the Four of Swords energy, that feeling of um, contemplation and healing, because she's kind of lying back there. And I'm also getting that the hanged man, because she's looking back. It's almost like she's getting a you know that um, the upside down and the hanging man in the tr traditional tarot. He's looking upside down to get a different perspective. So I feel as though you're going to have a new perspective in your life, in your situation, in regards to whatever was, um, whatever you, you're letting go of or you have let go of or released, it's allowed you to learn a new perspective, see things in a new way, which is going to help you massively. And I feel like you're going to have this major, beautiful transition into self-confidence, self-worth, discernment, um, and you will, you will know, you will listen to yourself more. You will understand what is right for you and what is not right for you moving forwards. So I see a lot of strength for you in this new energy. I'm not particularly getting many particular, I'm not getting messages mainly in what might be happening physically, but I do see in regards to energetically within, within your um, mental space, emotional space, spiritual space, I am seeing very, very good new energy coming in. And what that in turn is going to do is it's going to help you to magnetize towards you those new opportunities and what you're really desiring and what you're really wanting within your life. I actually want to, I want to get another tarot card. I'm actually going to get another spiritual card here. I'm just... I look, yeah. I follow my own unique path with courage and strength. Yeah. So this is what is occurring for you and the letting go is putting you on your path, on your unique path, the right path for you in your personal power, in your strength, whether you're a male or a female, however you identify this is your journey and you're learning to understand who you are, to let go of what is not in alignment for you so that you can flow to and magnetize the opportunities that are in alignment for you on your path. So much strength coming towards you, pile number one. All right, I'm going to leave you with that. Thank you so much for watching today. If you liked and resonated with this message, with this reading, please don't forget to give a like, subscribe, and you're welcome to share. Thank you. Bye. Hello to group number two. Welcome to your reading. You chose the clouds shape shifting. So let's have a look at what messages your ancestors have for you. So I'm just tuning into the clouds card for now. 
I am getting the message from your ancestors that there's going to be a lot of shifting and changing that's occurring very soon within your life, or it could be already happening. Um, I feel as though some of you, there's kind of like a juggling that's happening, or perhaps there's a lot of things up in the air for you at this present time. I'm feeling within my body intuitively I'm feeling that there is a level of stress for some of you um, I feel like there's a little bit of turmoil in some aspect um, and I feel as though you're being asked to really uh, persevere and I'm feeling like they're asking you to also I'm seeing water so water's connected with emotions but I'm feeling like a cleansing I feel like a cleansing would be really good so being near water cleansing with water um, talking with water or getting clarity near water water is coming up but um, also, I'm just feeling like I need to breathe. So your ancestors are asking you to really breathe. I feel as though at this time, and we will get more messages with the other cards here, but I'm feeling like at, at this time, your ancestors are saying that it's there's a lot of shifts and changes. So they're sort of saying, go with it. Oh, and now they're showing me kind of like the waves of the ocean or the movement of water. So they're saying the bends, you know, it's kind of like navigating um, the transitions that are, that are happening at the moment for you, group number one. All right, let's see what other messages they have for you. Okay, so we got vulnerability. Yes, you're feeling very vulnerable right now, and that's understandable. I can feel that within my um, stomach area. And here with the sunflowers, to me, this is like facing the sun. So ancestors is asking you to try and face the sun or spend time in the sun in order to, if you've been having trouble with sleep, like I'm getting a message, someone here is having anxiety and can't sleep. They're saying spend some more time in the sun, look at the clouds, look at the sun. That's going to help you with your sleeping rhythms as well. Um, also with the purple flowers, I'm also thinking of lavender. And so I'm getting the message of lavender may be helpful. I'm not a medical professional, but that's just a message I'm getting here from the um, from the ancestors the lavender you could get in the lavender essential oil or lavender tea or something like that um and i'm feeling like the, the color yellow the color purple could really help help you to feel brighter as well hmm. anything to release the stress for you at the moment yeah breathe yeah i'm loving this i pre-picked all these cards and they're all face down uh, and i just love seeing this synchronicity so breathe and life yeah, as I said, I can feel within my body how hard it is for you to just feel relief right now. Um, I feel like I need to take a breath, okay? And maybe we should do that right now is just, just take a deep breath and breathing in and letting go. So perhaps being mindful as well, um, practicing some mindfulness, some breathing techniques, some meditation, um, anything really that you can do. Not everybody uh, finds when they're in a situation of high stress or juggling multiple things or feeling overworked uh, not everybody finds stress relief from meditation it's very positive but not everybody has that so it could be any way that you can find stress relief for yourself is what's going to be really helpful through this transition for you we have baths baths of aphrodite nourishment i bathe in the sacred springs of love and i was telling you i was getting um was it this reading yes i think it was the water you know, that, that water aspect is going to be very helpful, helpful for you to release stress, to help you cleansing, to help you to feel revitalized. And I can see the purples in the background here as well. So bathing in water, being near water. Another thing, if you are having trouble sleeping and relaxing, listening to water. You can find YouTube videos of waterfalls and water. Sometimes I use that to help me go to sleep. Um, it can be very purifying and cleansing and just, just very uh, tranquil. So let's get some more messages here. We have chocolate, nourish your body and soul. Yes, it's definitely a time for you to look after yourself. Your ancestors say, do whatever you can to nourish yourself right now as you go through these shifts and changes. Growth, yeah, because you're going through a time of growth and expansion. I'm in my mind's eye, my ancestors are showing me it's almost like I want to cut this. And the reason we want to, they're showing me this is they're saying that uh, I feel as though um, it's like. A mold i'm seeing this as a mold on you and i'm seeing it as not like mold but like a like a it's kind of like an example but it's like this not meant for you this this what's holding you to the earth this um i don't even know what it is whatever is attached to you it's not meant for you and i feel like this time of growth is is shedding that almost like shedding a skin right so they're saying it is a time of growth and during times of growth you can feel very vulnerable very sensitive uh and you know especially with lots of shifts or changes or lots of things going on within your life it can be hard to find that ground as well so and they're saying you're finding a new ground it's like finding a new ground to to plant yourself as well which is interesting because i put it on the meadow so perhaps where you've been um 
maybe, yeah, I'm seeing the tower card. I'm getting lots of different messages. So it could be a lot going on for you, a lot going on for the people in this group. But it's almost like we're finding a new ground. We're finding a new mold. We're finding a new way here. And that can be tricky to navigate. Surrender stubbornness. If you're tensing up or taking a rigid stance about something, gently observe yourself and become more yielding. This will help you communicate more lovingly with others and yourself. Yeah. Because we can feel... Um, I know I can be stubborn. <laughs> when we feel like we're in a space that we are used to, comfortable with, right? Because we are talking about changing, right? We can feel comfortable in that and we can be really stubborn and not wanting to shift or transition. And this makes it... It makes it more challenging for ourselves. But I understand why we do this. We do this because it's what we know. We do this because it feels safe. We do it because that sometimes we're happy with what we've got. But the universe is taking us another direction. Perhaps it's something that we've asked for and they're taking us to another direction. But we're like digging our healing, heels in going, no, 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 no. I don't want to go in that direction. I'm, I'm, I'm happy here. But yeah, so the ancestors are saying they understand why you do this. Um, however, digging your heels in just makes it, more challenging for you um, and more stress for you this time is in regards to whatever it is in your life this time is about releasing the stubbornness releasing that resistance so that you can just flow with it and that is not easy to do i know it is really not easy oh i gotta take a breath right uh mm, i feel for you i feel for you great number two which the magic you seek is inside of you let it flow so another message of flow letting it flow going with the flow allowing the transition to happen and look at this this is not a comfortable looking card um it's dark and it's got a lot of branches in the way there's not a lot of greenery there's not a lot of light in this card however we do have that little bit of light here shining on the path and the card is saying that what you seek is inside of you so mm, i'm wondering if for some of you you are trying to find out here the answers when the answer is within you because a lot of the cards are talking about you know we've got vulnerability we've got growth and we're talking about that mold changing into a new mold right um of yourself we have the five transition we have the water yeah i'm wondering whether some of you are actually feeling like you're trying to find outside here but it's actually within you the change it's your inner world is transitioning yes yes that is what's happening. Your inner world is transitioning. And as I say that, I can feel your ancestors very much around me. Um, yes. Mm, interesting. If you feel any tingles or anything around you, this is your ancestors coming in because I'm feeling this right now. Very much with you, helping you through this time. Let's get some more cards. Oh, we've got the purple again. We've got enjoy clear he hearing. Oh, yeah, we had it here in the purple. I was wondering where I, why I said purple again uh, in, in the water here. Enjoy clear hearing, yeah, so your ancestors are sending you messages. And it's also, they're saying to, to me, it's also about hearing your inner, your inner voice, your inner world and what your inner, what your higher self wants to, uh, wants you to know, wants you to understand, wants you to see. Because mm, I, I just feel this sense of needing to get quiet and just listen. And you know, I'm getting this interesting message of like listening to your heartbeat, just taking a moment just to stop and listen to your heartbeat and feeling the beating of your own heart. And just taking the time to connect with your body and with who you are and your essence. Wow. This is, yeah, this is big. This is very big. And I'm feeling really emotional now. Mm. We've got, I am loving and compassionate and able to bring healing to others. Yeah. This is a healing time for you. A lot of healing. And I feel like it's very deep healing, deep transition. Some of you have got so many shifts going on outside in your world and others of you it's going on within or both. But you're also a healer. You also have that healing energy for others as well. But this is about mainly you healing you. And this beautiful crystal here, clear quartz. Perhaps having a clear quartz or looking into a clear quartz may give you clarity and help you to focus in on yourself and your healing we have vigilance stone people yeah you can see the clouds around mm. i want to get some more cards i knew that your pile was going to be a little bit longer okay do we have any more messages of guidance for the two yeah balance 
I was talking about earlier on in your reading about having to balance things like it could be different things in your world or this can also be the elements within you as well <clears throat> and now I'm losing my voice so throat chakra mm. yeah this is finding you and your your self-expression getting to the depths of just into your soul this is soul healing wow this is big yeah and we got sovereignty here this is you coming into your sovereignty this is getting to the to the depths of who you are and bringing it out and change as i said like it's like cutting off that mold she has around her and, and a new one being being rebuilt because it's a time of growth wow this is big and it's not easy it's not easy i know mm. purity the snow moon yeah it, things could feel like they're if you can't see but there's a reason behind it it's a little bit similar to group number one so you might have been drawn to that mm. number is at three zero so growth and expansion but you can see here in the back you see the lady and she's she's all open and so i feel like there's this openness and look at this veiled here as well we've got veiled here the clouds the thinking the thoughts um perhaps some of you may be having issues with your um thinking your thoughts your beliefs um, you may be up thinking a lot. Mm. I'm going to get some more messages for you. Let's get some um, water cards because emotions. The Isle of Glass. Sovereignty. I shine my light of wisdom. Wow. Two cards of sovereignty. <sighs> Look at that white, white. <sighs> the water flowing in the background. The sword of truth. That's that self-expression, the throat chakra. You're coming to understand who you are at a core and bringing that out. Wow. I wouldn't be surprised if a lot of what is falling away or what you're growing from is um, the conditioning. And this is, it. this is from your ancestors, this reading. So your ancestors um, understand your ancestors. Probably a lot of the um, experiences or the identity that you've had of yourself has been built from your intergenerational karma hmm. but you're getting to the purity of who you are hmm. and we have blue tara preservation i overcome all obstacles wow i i feel a lot of emotion with you i'm i'm just i i want to send you a lot of love because it feels like the difference from the first pile to this pile is I feel it very much so in this pile. Like, I feel your emotions. I feel your sadness. I feel your struggle. Let's have a look at what this is, um, what your ancestors, what they can tell us about where this is leading you, all right? Where is this leading group to, please? Because we, we, are, we can see this is leading you into your sovereignty, understanding yourself. Apologies if you can hear that dog barking in the background. Oh, the fool. Look at that. I'm so happy to see that because this is new beginnings. It's fresh new, new you coming in. Mm. A new cycle. And we have here the Hierophant. Mm. Higher learning. I feel like for some of you, you may be going to teach or in some sort of teaching aspect or sharing aspect. And particularly with the throat chakra, I feel as though you could be communicating, teaching, writing, sharing in some way. And we have the Five of Wands. Okay, why have we got the Five of Wands? The Nine of Swords. Yeah. Okay. I feel like where you've been feeling stressed, worried, inner turmoils, outer turmoils, um, struggles, I feel as though that's going to be coming to an end. And I feel like you're going to be following your higher path, your purpose. And I feel as though you're going to be... Um, like, I feel as though a sense of new vitality and energy coming into your life and I feel as though almost like when you you're a teenager and you're ready to go you just kind of like yep I'm going to explore what's new and I'm going to it's kind of this open energy and it's exploration that I feel like is coming your way yeah and the magician comes out yeah it's like your your energy is being renewed your vitality your inspiration and I feel like it's going to take you into new endeavors uh new exploration and it's because it's a new you that is coming out so you're I want to say your life is going to change because you're changing and you're growing 
Someone once said, we don't change, we grow. You're growing. You're becoming a new, you're becoming who you already are inside. You're shifting away all of the, all of the um, ideas and thoughts and beliefs of what, who you thought you were. That's all being shredded. It's all being taken away. It's all being released. And it, you are coming into sovereignty. You're coming into ownership of who you are. And you're going to stand in that. I'm wondering if some of you have had trouble in the past with, with boundaries, standing up for yourself, speaking your truth. And I'm wondering if, if for some of you, you have been going through a lot of those trials with others of having to like stand up for yourself and feeling defeated. I want to tell you if that is you, if that's what you've been experiencing, it's because it's been, there's been learning here, higher learning to understand your worth and, under, and to be able to, for you to stand up for yourself, to speak up for yourself and to, for you to own yourself. Because I feel like people have taken that away from you, but I feel like it's because you didn't see your strength and, and this transition is allowing you to see your strength, to know who you are and stand in that truth. Hmm. Hmm. I just want one more card for you. Two of Cups. Yeah. And you're going to have, moving forwards, relationships and commitments that are going to be very balanced, very reciprocal. And I feel like you're going to feel within you that balance and reciprocity okay I'm just going to get one last message now from your ancestors for you to move forwards with the air elemental I embrace the element of air and I'm open to all knowledge and wisdom yes a lot of knowledge higher knowledge higher wisdom is coming be open to that information try not to resist the growth that's happening for you yeah wow well. because you're coming into your sovereignty I just want to send you so much love. Know that your ancestors are with you. Call on them to help you with the healing. Uh, call on the lands and the nature to help you as well. And, the, and definitely with the water. Because I feel like that water is that element that's really going to help you to feel nourished and balanced. But whatever nourishes your body and soul, do that because that's going to help you moving forwards. That is all I have for you today. I want to send you so much love. If, this, if you resonated with this message, please don't forget to like and subscribe if you so wish. Bye for now. Hello group number three and welcome to your reading. You chose the crystals focus cards. Let's see what messages your ancestors have for you today. I have pulled out some cards. These were all pulled out face down from your ancestors. So they're just as much a mystery to me as they are to you. We'll get into them in a moment. I just want to see what they want to channel through with the crystals card. Okay. Oh, I'm hearing a song. I'm hearing the song, A Whole New World. I'm not going to sing it. <laughs> you don't want to hear me singing it. But I'm hearing a whole new world. I feel like there's a new opening coming for you. Mm, a whole new world. A whole new world, way of seeing things. And they're saying, be open to the magic. Oh, wow. I feel, like, I feel like your ancestors are going to show you something. Or they're leading the way. They're showing you something new. Um, oh, I can't wait to get into the other cards because I'm not getting more information than that. But it's almost like there's a new opening. There's something that your ancestors are showing you and they're leading the way to something something new. Uncharted territories, a whole new world. Hmm. Let's see, more messages in regards to this. Okay, we've got, we've got the forest frolic with the maiden. I acknowledge my inner child and open my heart to the joy she brings. Oh, this is going to bring you a lot of joy, a lot of happiness. Oh, I like where they're leading you somewhere good, somewhere cheerful, joyful. We got here ever 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 essence cultivate love oh. it's almost a little bit mysterious they're being a little bit mysterious to me maybe they don't want to reveal everything to you just yet because there's magic in the air and they don't want you to be led astray because i feel like there's something big there's something new that's but this is like this is almost like a really good it's like winning the lottery it's it's, it's something that's new but it's like blows you away it's it's yeah it's so joyful it's so happy wow oh look lemon that look at that yellow access innovative thinking oh this is so positive the, the color the yellow the vibrancy the positivity something very positive surrender to the, your desire to control people Be, being over controlling can sabotage relationships to more to more effectively achieve your goals back off regroup and give the situation some breathing room let's have a look at this in a moment because they're giving that message to surrender the desires to control people because oftentimes when i get this oh okay all right oh for some of you, that may be the message, but what I just heard from your ancestors was that um, be careful not to control the situation or to want to know how it's all going to happen or what's going to happen. Because there is a there is a 
a bit of mystery surrounding your reading. And the reason it's a mystery is because they don't want you to know all of the aspects because it will take away the surprise and you could get in, uh, you could try to control the situation and get in the way of it. And they don't want that to happen because they want, they're just so happy. They're, they're so joyful. They can't wait. They're like, they're like, look, they're like jumping up and down in my inner vision going, we can't wait for you to see what's coming like to, to see this opening that's happening for you. Um, for some of you, this could even be something in, something innovative, a new idea, something that you've never thought of that's going to bring you a lot of joy. But oh, this is so good, and they don't want you to get in the way of it. Mm. We've got here, Holy Wells of Ireland, <laughs> alchemy. I harness my magic. Oh, my gosh. I just feel so excited. I can feel the energy for you. Oh, my God. I'm so glad I got this reading for you guys. I'm so glad I got this one at the end because <laughs> it's so uplifting. It's so good. It's just... Oh, yeah, this is something new for you to taste. It's just, wow. You're going to, when this comes, drink it up. Drink every bit of it up because you deserve it, okay? You deserve it. Wow. They're orchestrating this for you. Yeah, rebirth. Oh my gosh. I feel like doing a happy dance. Look, rebirth, joy, look. Oh my gosh. I, I don't even know what to say in this ring because I'm so happy for you. I can just feel the energy. So, so palpable. Yeah, cultivate love. You've been cultivating this. Oh, and it's going to birth for you. Something is about to birth for you. And yeah, oh my God, I'm so excited for you. Self-reflection. I'm wondering if for some of you, you've been, <laughs> you're rebirthing. This is something really new. And oh my goodness. I, I'm going to get more information on that in a minute because I just got to go with the energy I'm feeling right now. Passion. Yeah. You've been looking. You've been looking for this. You've been wanting this. You've been asking for this. It's, but I don't even know if it's going to be exactly what you've been asking for, but it's something really good. They're being so mysterious here, but it's so positive. And I feel like it's like whatever you've been doing, you're manifesting. Whatever you've been working on, it's gathering momentum. Whatever it is that you've been oh, dreaming about, it's coming. Like, but I, I, off, I, I just want to be careful here because... I don't actually think it's like you've desired something and it's that. I feel like this is going to catch you off guard. You know, like they're giving me this feeling of, you know, like I said before, you put the lottery, you just go and get like a Mother's Day lottery ticket and you don't normally buy lottery tickets and you don't even think you're going to win and then all of a sudden you win millions, you know. I'm not saying that's what you're going to get, but that's kind of the energy that I'm getting. It's almost like this is going to catch you off guard, but it's something that you're really going to love and it could even be better than what you've even dreamed of. Oh. Yeah, passion. But you've alchemized, you've... Oh, yeah, you've you've done something, some work or manifestation, or you've done something behind the scenes here, within you, and now you're this opening is coming. It's for you. It's opening for you, and we have passion. Yeah, the soul. Your soul has written this. This is for you. Yeah. Wow. I'm just so excited for you. All right, let's get another message. <laughs> Actually, let's see if we can get with the tarot any more information. Let's see if we'll get any information. Nine of Wands. With the Nine of Wands, I want to say persist. Keep going. Because what's coming is mightily good. We've got here. And that's with the focus too. Keep focus on what you're doing. Nine of Swords. Ten of Cups. Yeah. Keep, keep persisting because you are moving from the unknown to the known. You are about to experience the fulfillment of the Ten of Cups. Mm. I don't think they're actually going to give me much information, to be honest. Because they, yeah, after oh, Two of Cups. For some of you, this could be around a partnership. The Eight of Cups. Two of Wands. Four of Pentacles on the back. Yeah, I, I actually think that it's like they don't want me to tell you. It, this is being very hidden. <laughs> and it's because they don't want, they know that you're going to get in the way of it and they don't want you to get in the way of it. So, um, but for some of you, this could be in regards to um, a, some sort of commitment, a relationship. This could be to do with family, um, but it's something that's going to be really fulfilling for you. We do have the two of wands. Um, I mean, I'm getting a sense of adventure or exploration with this card. It's just a sense I'm getting. 
and I feel like it's like you're going to completely I want you to if you have recently if you've recently decided to um, go for something or put yourself out there or take a risk or take a chance if you've done that I want you to really um, pat yourself on the back and be proud of yourself for that because what I'm getting here is that you deciding to walk away you deciding to take a chance is what's opening this up for you and bringing something really beautiful your way all right let's just get you some more messages because I don't think they're going to really tell me too much more let's see if there's anything comes out in this deck it says earth angel I am a guardian and mother earth and protect all who live on her wow so use earth angels you're here walking the earth healing the earth We've got here release i release that which does not serve my higher purpose with gratitude and love oh, i want to say that there's an abundance coming your way an abundance of wonderful energy something that's coming in and even though you cannot see it keep persevering keep walking away from yeah like if you haven't already and there's something that you're wanting to walk away from then then release it and let it go because you're walking into something beautiful here sun goddess i celebrate each sunrise and recognize the healing energies of the sun i don't want to do any more of this reading and i'll tell you why because i feel like all your ancestors are doing now is kind of going back into where you've been because i feel like they don't want to go too far into what's coming because as i said it's a mystery it's magical so i'm going to take these away because i want to leave you with this beautiful bright energy we started with i feel like you know this is all the releasing and it's all talking about um making sure that you don't go back just keep moving forwards keep staying focused okay don't go backwards is what i feel like they're saying but i really want to focus on this because this is what you're bringing in this is what you're birthing and it's it's really joyful it's very happy it's very bright and um i just want to wish you well in that newness and really enjoy it and know that you deserve it that is the messages i have for you group number three thank you so much for watching i want to send you so much love if you like this reading please don't forget to like and subscribe if you so wish bye for now